welcome to Watkins Way. Today we're going to make a pico de gallo. And the ingredients for a pico de gallo is it's really just a chunky salsa. And I like to use Roma tomatoes. I'm going to use cilantro. And when you go to the store, you buy a bunch of cilantro. I don't use a whole bunch. I, I cut it in half, use about half of it. And I'm going to use half of a medium sized white onion. I'm going to squeeze some fresh lime juice on the pico de gallo and I'm going to use one jalapeno uh, if you want it a little bit hotter use a serrano pepper the serrano peppers are about three or four times hotter than the jalapeno so let's get started and what I'm going to do is when I chop up the onion and tomatoes I want them in kind of just little small pieces bite size so so one doesn't overpower the other so I'll do that and, and then I'll take these and just chop it up in little pieces I like Roma tomatoes because they're they're kind of firm when you chop them up you get these little chunks and we'll take out the seeds and we'll just Cut it like this, down the center here. Then we're gonna turn it around. Just to see little bite-sized pieces. Tomatoes and onions are gonna be about the same size. And then we're gonna take a jalapeno, cut the end off, and cut this down here. But what we wanna do is we wanna take the seeds out. The seeds are pretty hot. I mean, you could leave some in if you wanted to have a little more heat to your pico de gallo. And sometimes I do that. Then we'll just take the jalapeno, slice it like this, turn it, and it's going to be the same size as your tomatoes, same size as your onions. So we're going to take our cilantro and chop that up. And then our secret ingredient, the Watkins way, I'll show you this a little bit later, but we're gonna use agave. All right, now we got everything almost completely chopped up, so let's add this to our bowl. And what we're gonna do too, what I like to do, I like to sweeten this up a little bit, and since uh, pico de gallo is a Mexican salsa, we're gonna use a little bit of agave. So I just drizzle a little bit on there, it's probably about a tablespoon full. And then what I like to do is use fresh limes and I'm going to use the juice of one and a half limes on there. So we're just going to stir this up. So what we want to do now today is I've got my chips here. We're going to have chips and pico de gallo. But also another thing I like to do, especially if you got guests coming over and you want to kind of make things look good when you do your appetizers or chips and salsa or whatever. So I just spoon a little bit of the pico de gallo in where the pit was or the avocado and that's what I do. That's my little single de mile party. So anyway, let's see how this tastes. So let's just Chip here. Mm. The agave is my secret ingredient. You really taste it, the sweetness of it, and it kind of tones down the jalapeno a little bit. So that's really good. Now, if you're making these at home, got people coming over, just put a spoon out and let them dig in. And spill a little bit. That's okay. Make this at home, the pickle de gallo. Use the agave. It's a good sweetener for it. it tones down the jalapenos a little bit. You guys have a happy summer. Take care. Please subscribe. See you later. Bye.